Hi. Um, I'm making a quick tutorial of how I do uh, milk and iron art, which I've been, I've only done it like four times, so I'm definitely not the expert, but um, just doing this for my friend Rose and anyone else who wants to learn how to do it. Um, so the paper I usually use for it is mixed media paper, um, just because it's heavy weight. Um, and it can handle the milk and the iron really well. But you can try any paper you want. Just make sure you test it before you do all the hard work of like painting the stuff on and then iron it and it turns out bad because I've done that and it stinks. <laughs> um, the brush I use is this like itty bitty teeny tiny one that's like really short also. Um, but it's just like a makeup sample brush thing that I got like a pack of them um, just from my aunt but you could use any brush really like I've used larger ones before like um, maybe this size um, so it, this is a size 4 brush round I definitely use round brushes which are the ones that are like all the bristles are in a circle and then they come to a nice point um, just because the milk works well on them and um, it holds the paint really, the not the paint, the milk, <laughs> really nicely. And something flat like this, you don't really know how it's going to distribute the milk. Um, um, I've got my piece of paper here. Also a paper towel to wipe off extra milk. And then put my milk in a little dish here. You need so little milk, especially for something this size to do this. Um, and this one I'm just gonna like go for it. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so when I lay it on, it sort of sits on top of the surface. So I just did a little heart. And then I sort of go over it to adjust it and expand out from where I originally laid the milk down. So I hope you can see that. Oh, it looks like you can. That's good. Um, yeah, and then I sort of take milk and dot it on top in places where it seems thin, just so it creates a nice bubble on the surface like that. Yep, so that and then I'm just gonna work my way out from there. Um, if you're working on a big surface it's good to start in the upper um, corner opposite of whatever hand you use because then you're not um, in danger of smearing what you've already done. So I actually decided to look up a Bible verse because I was realizing I started this thing and didn't really know what I wanted to do. So took a moment to just find one that I wanted to put with this heart and um, chose uh, 1 Corinthians 16, 14, a nice little short verse, which is um, do everything in love. So I'm just going to start and... Do it and so I kind of do one letter and then I make sure I go over it enough that I won't lose it because um, part of the issue is the base layer of milk sort of soaks into the paper so I do it piece by piece um, but trying to keep the general flow going um, you don't want to overflow it with milk because then it starts spreading like past where you want it to go um, but you can get it on there pretty thick and it won't overflow um, I hope you can see this if you can't I'm so sorry this would be really boring but oh well it does take some time which is one thing that I really like about this when I did these um, before I would choose a Bible verse to base the whole thing on and I wouldn't really know what I was doing in the beginning but as I would go to build up the piece I would do a lot of different pieces and um, in within the 
uh, piece of art itself and keep exploring sort of what that verse means and other verses related to it. And it became sort of like a type of meditation of like, well, what does this Bible verse really mean? And um, just sort of a chance to reflect on it. So you can see there, see how you can see it pretty well, but then the dots that I did around the heart are, are nearly invisible now that they're drawing, most of them. So I think I want to put a heart around that. Why not? Um, it's part of what's fun about this milk business is you're just like, well, well, I mean, with art in general, you can change it up whenever you want. But I like that I don't sort of pre-plan what I'm going to do because it allows room for the happy accidents and the things you wouldn't have thought of if you were pre-planning at all. If you get too far ahead of yourself, you'll paint the line on once and then it, you know, vanishes into the paper and then you can't find it again and you end up with maybe two lines next to each other that didn't that you wanted to be the same line but you couldn't see the first line, so sort of creating the bubble of the milk is what helps you to keep seeing where you've put it. Some brushy stuff on the outside of the heart, a lot thinner than the heart itself, um, so hopefully it won't burn as dark. We'll see how that works. funny I could I could say all this stuff and then go to put the iron to it and it turns out totally different than what I expected that would be an adventure all right so we've got that and then I've got sort of this empty space in the heart um, next to the smaller heart and the, and the verse um, so I'm gonna write the reference there okay and then we we're gonna let that dry completely. It usually takes, I don't know, like 30 minutes to dry fully. You could put it under heat probably and it would dry faster, but you really wanna make sure it's fully dry before you go to iron, because if you go to iron and it's not, it'll smear it. Um, so I'm just gonna leave this for 30 minutes. So it's been about 40 minutes actually, and it's pretty fully dry. You can see that a little bit, I hope. Let's see. Oh boy. Gotta get the light to it. Oh my gosh. You see, ah, there, okay. Um, so it dry, you know it's dry when um, it's all pretty flat and if you, like, nothing smudging anymore. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's so hard to show on video. Unfortunately, I bumped it <laughs> while it was drying, so um, there might be a smudge in the word, um, the second part of the word everything. But we'll see. Only one way to find out, and that's by ironing it. I have my iron on the highest setting. I just do the highest heat because it burns the fastest. Um, I don't know if lower heat, maybe lower heat you'd have more control over how much it burns. But um, no steam, just straight onto the paper, and you just kind of go for it. I think I'm gonna call that done. There it is. If I don't figure out a way to flip this video around, you will only see it backwards, but I'll post a picture on Instagram. And that is how you do milk art. I hope it was somewhat helpful, and I'm so sorry this video turned out so long. I That was not my plan, but...
Have a wonderful day.